Good evening, Mayor and City Council members. I hope you are all doing well this evening. Today we will be discussing the issue of pedestrian safety and the policy recommendations that we have. Our city has seen a 52% increase in pedestrian related injuries. The majority of the injuries were to joggers and bicyclists. However, the incidences involving street crossing have resulted in fatalities. According to the California Office of Traffic Safety, nearly 7,500 pedestrians have died in California between 2009 and 2018. California's pedestrian fatality rate is 25% higher than the national average. Three alternatives that we have for addressing the safety issues with street crossing are pedestrian safety education presentations to public K-12 students in Moreno Valley. We would partner with the local school districts to uh, provide assemblies to the students on uh, safety education for crossing the streets. Uh, the second option would be to increase the fees for traffic violations related to pedestrians. Uh, we would increase those fees by 30% from what they are currently. Uh, and the last option is to implement a community service program that requires those that are convicted of a pedestrian related traffic offense to serve community service as a crossing guard. Um, in this program, the people would already be having the court fees for their traffic violations. So this would, the only additional costs would be the salaries and benefits of the staff that would have to oversee the program and then the supplies that would be needed, um, such as stop signs and safety vests for the community service members. Um, and so the total cost would be $46,520 annually. The alternatives that we have for addressing the safety issues regarding bicyclists are providing pamphlets to residents on bicycle safety, increasing fines for traffic violations related to bicycling, or require that those convicted of violating laws related to bicycling attend a bicycling safety program. Um, they would be required to pay for this program and the program would be provided by a third party. So the fiscal impacts to the city would be the salary for the person that would oversee um, this requirement, make sure that that those are that are subject to it, get enrolled and and complete the program. Um, and also notification, it would be the cost for sending out the notifications to those that are required to attend the programs. So the total fiscal implication would be about $47,720. For joggers, our policy alternatives are to hand out jogging safety pamphlets, mark locations of trails for joggers to utilize, and get joggers away from roadways, get joggers to attend a safety program, post street signs in areas frequently used by joggers, raising awareness of their safety, and to hand out reflective safety vests to joggers who exercise near roadways. Our policy recommendation is that we recommend joggers attend a safety program where they can be given locations of trails and safety vests to wear. So the additional cost to the city would be the salaries and benefits for the employees running the safety program, um, the cost of the pamphlets, safety vests, and um, the, cost, the cost of the street signs 
for areas that joggers frequently use. That's an estimated $49,000 annually. We would just like to thank you for allowing us the time to discuss our policy recommendations on public safety. Have a great day.